And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It is a big matchup here at JCY as Lynn Efron dances his way down to the ring to take on diehard Tom McClain. This is our opening matchup in the King of Cincinnati tournament to crown the inaugural JCY champion. My name is Rick Uccino. I'm on the call as always. We appreciate you guys joining us here today. Like I said, big matchup. We're working to crown the first ever JCY champion. And Lynn Efron, a nice young up-and-comer, working on a pretty good win streak here in JCY. His opponent, diehard Tom McClain, not so much. A series of tag team losses with his partner, Great American Beast. And Tom has, has, has put a lot of the blame for those recent losses on the shoulders of Beast and has now grounded him. He has grounded him. He has barred him from ringside here as this matchup is underway. And Lynn Efron, who likes to dance inside the ring and outside of it now, got a hammer lock locked on Tom McClain, is now going to spin him around and into a wrist lock. Lynn's got an amateur background, but Tom McClain has been in professional wrestling for well over a decade. And he's going to have to rely on his experiences. Now he goes for a ride and lands on his backside. It's not often we see McLean go head over heels, and he is holding on to the small of the back right there. He did not like that trip that he just took. And now he is uh, screaming at the audience here on the outside of the ring, and Lynn Efron is not going to waste any time. He knows how important this matchup is, and he is now stalking Tom McLean. McLean doesn't like it, and McLean's going to take off. Lynn in pursuit. McLean going to dive back into the ring. Efron chasing, going to duck a clothesline. And now they're going to block a hip toss. McLean blocks a hip toss, but Efron around and with an arm drag. Lynn now with a double tap. Drop kick right there. McLean holding on to his face. And Lynn Efron, the faster opponent. And right there, that's what Tom McLean needs to do. If Tom McLean is going to have any chance of winning this matchup, he's got to use his savvy veteran presence as he just uses all of his body weight and drives it right into his shoulder and takes Lynn Efron out. Efron able to get the shoulder up at two, though. McLean's going to play dirty. That's his game. As you can see right there, just rubbing the wrist right into the eyes, the tape right into the eyes of Lynn Efron. He's going to do what it takes to win this matchup as now he puts a boot to the throat. This is Die Hard's MO. This is what he does. He will bend the rules to his advantage. He will use his years of experience against Lynn Efron here. There's a shot right to the kidneys. Efron's got to hope that he can get in kind of a ground and pound situation with that amateur background is right there, a meeting of the minds. Just a big headbutt from McLean. And he is going to work on Efron now, pulling the hair. There's a shot to the gut. Another one from Lynn Efron, and... Right there, McLean just grabbing all of that long blonde hair and just with disrespect, chucking Lynn Efron down to the ground. And now he's going to push him right into the ropes. Ref already up to a three count. McLean, let's go. And now he's biting him. Again, I said McLean will play dirty. Let's go at a two count there. The ref being very lenient there as McLean using the teeth to get an advantage here. A diehard Tom McLean was not originally supposed to be in this matchup tonight. Originally, it was Great American Beast when the brackets first came out as McLean drives a shoulder right into Efron there, trying to just take all the wind out of him. Now just rubbing that shoulder, that elbow pad, excuse me, right into the face and nose of Lynn Efron and again grabbing onto the hair. There's a clubbing blow to the back. Before this matchup got underway, Diehard Tom McClain basically approached Beast and said, Hey, look, we've had a series of, of bad luck. A lot of it your fault, but I am willing to let all of that go if you give me your spot in the tournament. And he might blow that spot. Lynn Efron, sunset flip. McClain able to kick out at two. If you give me your spot in this tournament, we are cool. As he drives a knee right to the temple of Lynn Efron. And Beast very reluctantly said, all right, if that's what it's going to take to put all of our issues behind us, make it water under the bridge, you got it. It's diehard Tom McClain against Lynn Efron. And that's the matchup we're getting now is McClain is going to bite the fingers of Lynn Efron, standing on the hand of the left hand and biting the fingers on the right hand at the same time. Not going to shove Lynn back into the corner. He's going for a ride. McClain's going to follow. There's a forearm. McLean not right behind another one. Here we go, number three, and again, Lynn Efron. 
Now off the ropes, Efron gonna duck a clothesline, and there is a double cross body. Both men are down, Lynn Efron gasping for air. McLean, meanwhile, looks more irritated than anything. He had all of the momentum going his way. It looked like he was going to be running into the corner for a fourth uh, a forearm there. Decided to change direction and go for a clothesline, and it ended up costing him theirs. Now these two are going to trade some blows, try to get up to their feet. Both men on their knees at the moment, just trading forearm shots. Lynn Efron now two in a row. And there's a big shot from Efron. Shot in the forearm and another one. You can hear that chop echo throughout the entire building. Now up to their feet are both men as Lynn continues to just drive the elbow. Another chop. And McLean, a shot to the sternum. Now he's going to bounce off the ropes. Lynn's going to come behind him. And now there's a running forearm that takes McLean off of his feet. And Lynn fired up now. Getting some momentum, a big clothesline. McLean slow to his feet. There's a back elbow. Just stalking behavior by Lynn Efron in the side rushing leg sweep. Falls into the cover. This could be it. And no. McLean is going to get the shoulder up at two. And this matchup is going to continue. Lynn Efron a little dejected right now. Thought he had that matchup won. But he's got to stay on the attack. He's got to stay focused. Right now, he just looks exhausted for about four or five minutes straight there. He was just getting beat on by McLean. Going to try and throw him off the ropes. There's a big suplex from McLean. That might be it. If he can find a way to roll into a cover here. He's going to finally get over there. Falls on top of him. And Joe just barely, just barely did Lynn Efron Get the shoulder up. That delay that it took for McLean to get into the cover cost him. Crowd trying to get behind Efron, but right now, this looks to be McLean's to lose. Coming in with a boot. Efron's going to duck now. He's got, he's got McLean on his back. McLean is calling for Beast to come out to the back as it looks like Efron's going to try and get him into a sharpshooter here. Can he get him over? Can he get him over? He's going to try and turn him here, and he does. He's got him over. Beast is on the outside now. McLean begging for Beast to get into the ring. Oh. Beast reminding McLean that he's grounded. All of a sudden, the truce is no more. Lynn's going to pull him into the middle of the ring, and McLean's going to tap out. McLean taps out to the sharpshooter, and Lynn Efron is moving on to the semifinals in the King of Cincinnati Tournament.